button. And today I have for you a video that can be relatable to people with mental illness. Now, not everybody does, but the majority of people who are mentally ill usually take medications. And let's face it, taking medications is not always fun. We don't always want to do it, but in the end we know that it's good for the brain. And we need to take our brain meds. Just like you would take meds for any other organ in your body. So today I have three suggestions on how to make taking medication just a little more interesting. So first tip I have for you is having to do with water. So usually when you take your meds, you like chase it down with water or something like that. And usually you have like a water bottle or something, but if you want to spice up your life a little bit, maybe designate a cup to be your water cup. For me, that would be this. It is a pink sparkly little shot glass that came from Las Vegas. Story behind this, my best friend's mom got this for me. So, to me, even though I don't drink, the fact that I use this to take my meds kind of makes me feel pretty cool. So I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm totally just taking shots for my meds. Um, you can get shot glasses in all sorts of ways. I know that they sell little red Solo Cup ones like in every store. Um, but if you're not into the idea of shot glasses, you can always just find like normal cups, just any way to make them fun. You can even get children's cups, they're a bit bigger than this. I actually have another cup that says I'm turtly awesome, and it has a turtle. <laughs> so, it's just a little something that kind of can lift up your mood and make medicine a little more fun. So the second tip I have for you is a fun way to store your meds. So usually, usually, your medication comes like an orange bottle or it comes in like the white stock bottles or in boxes, whatever. And if you take them every single day, you know, it could be very old just opening the bottles over and over. So an idea to have is a pill minder or it's also, I've also heard it called as like a pill reminder, pill storage, I've even heard it called cobblers. And this is what one looks like, this is what mine looks like. Mine is clear and red and it has a letter for each day of the week. Um, you can actually find these in a week or a week of morning, noon, and night or just morning and night or whatever you're needing. I take meds morning, noon, and night and I just put them all in here. For afternoon meds, I actually have this keychain that is on my keys. It is shaped like a pill capsule and you just open it up Put your pills inside, close it off, and whenever you need it, it's right there. This one came from an event, but it is, it says Walgreens, so I guess you can find this at Walgreens, but you can just find any little keychain, like you have to take your meds throughout the day. Just like a little keychain where you can put it on your keys or on a different key ring, just something to remind you to do it throughout the day, and I mean, I don't know, I find it kind of amusing having a giant pill capsule next to a dinosaur keychain, but that's just me. And the last thing that I suggest is if you have reminders on your phone. So, most of us have a cell phone. Personally, I have three alarms for this phone. One of them is silent, and it's, I have one at 7.30 in the morning, one at 12 p.m., and one at 9.30 at night. And, like, it just reminds me to take my meds. And if you have something like that, you may have like, you can change up the note or you can change up the alarm sound. Like, um, I know for me personally, the titles of my medicine alarms are Med Time, Afternoon Med, Med Time. And just putting that is boring. So you could spice yours up a little bit and like put something like Start the Day Right or Brain Power or let's get through the happy day or happy pills or something. It may seem really weird to other people, but for you, I mean, it can be funny for you. And that's all that matters. It's just to make life a little more interesting. And the second thing is if your alarms have sounds. So my 12 o'clock does not have any sound and that's done on purpose. So when I'm in class, I don't hear it. I can see it later. Let's see, what do I have in terms of alarms? I think both of mine have a different sound. So 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't... Mine's a reminder for the 12 p.m. But, alright, let's see. So, this is what I have for my 7.30. what I have for 9.30. But I mean, if you don't want to have those kind of sounds, um, depending on your phone, like if you have a smartphone, you could actually pick songs. I know on the iPhone you could do that, like let's say I wanted to switch my alarm to one of my favorite songs. And so let's go with this one. So, you can change it to your favorite song, or you can make it really funny sayings. Like, for those of you who don't have smartphones, there's a website called PhoneZoo that you can go on where you get free downloads of ringtones. I don't know if PhoneZoo still exists, but it's something to look into. So, yeah, those are my three tips for how to make taking medicine just a more fun because it's not always that fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up or if you have any other suggestions on videos, comment down below. Obviously go check out Psych2Go because Psych2Go is pretty awesome. And if you'd like to see more of what living with generalized anxiety is like, then you can follow my channel, which should be linked down in the description below. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you later.